Hi guys, welcome to my channel, welcome back to my channel. My name is Elizabeth Ann, going through this really quickly because I'm tired, I don't feel good. But I had to show you guys, I had like the worst night ever at work. I just don't feel good. We're just sucking it up and carrying on. But I want to show you guys two really exciting things I got in the mail. One was like a surprise that I didn't know was on the way yet. But anyway, I filmed the unboxing for TikTok, but I want to show you guys. I ordered one of the homesick candles this is the first one i've ever gotten i was really nervous because most of them like smell horrible <laughs> uh, there's been like one that was like heart of texas or something that smelled okay but this one actually smells so good like it smells very like luxe and the little thing in the back adorable it says, the distinctive sense of spring days in Central Park, find department stores, and concrete capture the energy of the greatest city on earth. <sighs> Love. I've literally been putting this off all summer. Not putting it off, but like I've wanted them all summer and spring and honestly probably fall since it became a trend on the rise. And I finally ordered them. They're like boxer pants. They're like, I guess, <laughs> pajama pants. All this down below. But we will see. I wish they were a little more high rise. But I don't know if I love them. But I go now. Good night. They just keep getting better and better. Hey guys, I just got home from work slash sprouts. I'm gonna give you guys a haul, but also I'm doing another video. So like, I'm gonna talk about it, but it's gonna be more in depth in a different video. Okay guys, I just like blacked out. I don't know if I showed you guys what I got. I don't think so. Sprouts haul, Ezekiel bread, Chico macro bars. These are my favorite flavors. It's the, um, oh, I got the wrong one. Oh well. Oh wait, no, this is it. It's the Everlasting Joy. It's coconut, almond butter, and chocolate chips. Three pound bag of halos. Two apples and two bananas. Also, the guy there that checked me out was so nice. And he was telling me that if I like sweet apples, like Honey Crest, and his friend was telling him that there's this apple. It's like sugar something. I, so I had an estimate. I asked him like twice what it was. I wasn't going to ask a third time. I forgot. I kept forgetting. But um, I'm going to try that next time. I told him that thank you so much for letting me know. But I'm going to pack. We're headed to the lake. Possibly. I'm waiting on a text back to see if I have to work Tuesday or night. Tuesday night or not. I'm having... She texts me back tonight, but I'm gonna pack like I'm leaving tomorrow, and if not, we'll unpack. So, yeah. Okay, guys, I've been spending the morning cleaning. I've been vlogging on TikTok because I'm at the point that I'm like, just gonna vlog every single thing and post it. Who cares? Who cares? So, I did that um, update on my candle if you guys were curious. I've been burning her. She smells really good, and I just found out that you can buy this scent in Pura, so I might do that. But I'm basically like packed up. I have all the essentials in here. Sunglasses, cereal, my cup, oops. I have Miss Willow, she's ready to go on an adventure. My little Nod pillow. This is so good, I use this every single night when I go to sleep. But yeah, I'm about to unplug my Keurig over here. I just love my apartment so much. And I'm ready to enjoy it. Gotta unplug this. 
I'm gonna turn this off. Hey guys, we are at the lake. We had some chicken in the freezer, so I just made some chicken. It looks delish. I'm about to pour my water. I have my poppy. I love this flavor. I just tried it for the first time today. So good. I just unpacked the cooler and the fruit. Good morning. Happy Tuesday. Um, I think I'm gonna go to Tifton because I just realized if I don't go to Tifton today, I won't be going until like Thursday night or Friday morning. That gives me like a day. So I think I'm gonna go today because oh, red carpet. I know what I was saying, I got distracted by the cardinal. Anyway, hey. I think I'm gonna go to Tifton. It actually, I think it's supposed to be like rainy all week. I'm really glad I didn't. I thought about waking up for the sunrise this morning, but it's super cloudy and rainy, so I'm glad I did not. Anyway. Okay guys, I just got another shower. Oh, OTD, I was wearing something so far cuter. Like so much cuter. But then I changed for two reasons. The first is I wanted to be comfy. The second reason is I realized that I changed in this cute outfit and the only shoes I have are my hokas. So, back to this. All right, let's go to Tipton. Just walked into the door. I, I haven't vlogged any of it, but I went on the way. Talk about self-control. On the way home. <laughs> it was like an hour before I could eat. I was still fasting. Um, but I got chicken salad chick, obviously, when in Rome. I'm just kidding. I get chicken salad chick all the time. My favorite is barbecue. A lot of people hate it, but don't be a barbecue hater until you try it. Oh, these cookies, so good. Just got Starbucks. It was, the only reason I got it was that it was, um, 50% off. So this was $3.00. Uh, shouldn't it be three dollars all the time? You guys, I just walked in from what turned into an impromptu thrifting trip and I got what I needed. Okay, story time. I wanted to go to this cute little shop downtown and when I went to go, I was like, you know what? I need, I want like a gold vintage frame for this print that you guys saw in the New York vlog. And I wonder if they have something. And I was looking and everything was literally like $40, $50, $60, $80. $80. And then I happened upon the booth that had a $5 section. So I found a few things. I can't wear this to work, but I can wear this to work. So anyway. I showed you guys in there when I tried it on, but it says the journey is the destination. Peace, love, and happiness is the reward. Eternal summer. I'm screaming. Like, this is giving, like, summer 2013 energy. Like, in the best way. I don't know if that'll make sense to literally anybody else. But anyway, obsessed. The company is Z Supply. The store I went to is Shop Mercy Grace. They have a website. So, maybe I'll link it down below if it's on their website. Um, Paid in cash, got all this for like 15 bucks. Seven pickers, downtown session. I, I, we actually got furniture for, I think it was my dorm rooms from there, I don't remember, but they have great stuff. But anyway, I wanted the Blue Zone book so bad. I think I ran it for the library. You guys would have seen um, from the guy. Shout out Dan. And I think this is just like an older version of it. It's still him. And I can't find the year or anything, but it literally was $5. Right. Do you know how much these retail for? Like 40 bucks. Um, so I immediately picked up and said, let's go. I wanted to like try to find something that like, if it doesn't work, I wouldn't hate the print. So there were two and it was really hard to decide because I really liked the other one. Anyway, I went with this one. Plus I liked the background of this a lot more. So, we have that as a print if um, it doesn't work out. I think it will. And as I like was walking in the door, just like thinking to myself, I remembered I have another print that's in this Ikea frame that I think it might fit in one of these. But anyway, 
Here is the second one. I liked the frame much better on this one, but I think it's gonna be too big for the print for the mat. But I mean, it's pretty. No, legit, this lighting would have been so much better. But um, I just unboxed the recipe journal. I'm curious to see like what it looks like. And low key, if it doesn't start like flooding in like 10 minutes, I think I might order chilies. Oh, it's so cute. Um, this is actually really good because I have really big handwriting. Oh, this is perfect. Okay, so I was gonna order the Kenzie Elizabeth like friend of mine. And honestly, at the end of the day, I probably should have because it's only about $20 more. And it's so cute and I love it and it's aesthetic. But I saw this one and I was like, wait, I really like this. We're headed back to the lake. I haven't vlogged anything this morning. I like woke up probably at like five, went to bed at probably 1.32. My allergies were so bad like the second I came here and I knew I probably should have gone back last night to the lake, but I stayed. Like my skin is still itchy. Um, So we're gonna back to the lake and see if that helps. And I was gonna back today anyway, but I'm just going sooner than I was originally planning, so. Anyhow, let's go to the lake. Uh, don't worry, please don't scream at me. I'm literally pulling into the drive through Um, you know, I thought when they redid our Starbucks, it was gonna be like slapping and whatnot. I don't think it's still as bad as it was. My drink yesterday was okay, but tell me what, when I got it. Well, you know what? It was like, um, I'll give it a four and a half out of 10. I'm a coffee snob, but it was like, I, to be fair, I ordered it a little earlier than I should have, but also to be fair, it was not good. <clears throat> Starbucks will be with you in just one moment. What can I get for you today? Hi, I had a mobile order for Liz. For Liz? Yes. Uh, let me check that this is. <laughs> Miss Liz, you got a cold breeze? Come on, pull around. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Uh, um, yeah. Mm, I really don't have any other updates other than I can't breathe. Um, but Loki, my skin's popping. Uh, it is breaking out a little bit. Uh, like, why do I break out so bad? Anyway, okay. I decided to come here because I had a uh, um leftover from the like reload I did yesterday. I never get Starbucks anymore so I was like you know what win and rum win and rum um but I came here for literally no reason other than like maybe it'll like energize me for this drive because I think I am gonna go like straight into Cordell and go pick up groceries so I don't have to go back into Cordell anyway but I am gonna take 75 there oh wait it's 4th of July not gonna take 75 we'll be taking 41 again we're back we have a huge dg haul i'll show you guys in a minute um big dg girl over here okay first of all literally obsessed with this shirt so glad i bought it yesterday uh low-key just spent like it was like 70 dollars but i have to say this if you guys if you guys have a phone um if you guys are a DG person like me, like I don't care how much money I make, I am a DG girly for life. Always have been, always will be. Um, craziest deal. These like, like big bag, this is actually a smaller bag of them, but it's the biggest they have. If you buy four of them, they're $1.95 a piece, which so basically you're getting four for basically the price of one. I got some Tocitos, the thin and crispy ones, the cantina ones. I love these. You guys, we used to have this 
No, it's not. We used to have this like basket that we just put all the chips in right here. I don't know how to do it, but <laughs> lay them down here. I got such a lake like meal plan, okay? What I'm about to cook right now is Mexican. We had some corn um, hard shell tacos. So I'm gonna cook some burger meat, which I have. I literally got such like lake summer foods. Okay, this is for my Mexican, so yeah. I got jelly because we don't have jelly here. And you'll see in a second why I got jelly. <laughs> I got two things of baked beans, so summer. I got a Diet Coke on sale. I almost got four of these because it was, I think, two for four. I forgot they existed. And I did not know that they were sweetened with monk fruit. So I just want to see if I still like them. And I remember us drinking them like when we were younger, but I don't think this is a flavor. But we used to be obsessed with vitamin water. My cousin and I used to be obsessed with vitamin water when we were in like middle school and high school. Anyway, so I got three of those. And then here's the big old bag of goodies. <laughs> I got crescent rolls because I got hot dogs. One of my favorite meals are, uh, what do you call these? Like, I guess they're like hot dogs in a blanket, but they're like really big ones. They're not like the mini ones. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna do those or I'm just gonna do plain hot dogs tonight. And then, like I said, I got a thing of their frozen ground beef. Oh, I didn't think that through. I'm not going to be able to eat that. I'm going to feel it fall. Um, I got a thing of bacon for breakfast tomorrow. I'm not a breakfast person. I mean, on my entire life, like, we've always cooked, like, biscuits and eggs and bacon for breakfast at the lake. Like, that's such a lake thing. <laughs> um, so I decided to get that for old time's sake. French onion dip. Got some cheese slices. And then sour cream and some flaky biscuits. Okay guys, I just finished editing. I've been editing probably like an hour. I'm really trying to like edit like an editor like they teach us. So I basically go in and do like a rough cut and just put all the footage in the timeline. Then I go through and cut the footage some rough cut and then I start going in with the marker tool and I mark spots where either I'm wanting to add an effect or add text or something on the screen. And then like if I need to put the information then I'll be like, you know, add slurp effect or whatever. But since it's just my videos, typically I know what I'm wanting to put there. Um, and then I'll go in and start adding titles, seeing what font I wanna use for the video and add in some music and then start cutting it down more and that's basically it that's the process of editing so anyway since i am trying to be a professional editor i'm really trying to work on my own editing for my youtube video really short amount of time you guys it might have been kind of ballsy but all i did was cold call a bunch of people okay you guys i just finished watching owning manhattan I know it's a little crazy, but I've had more than enough time. It's now 9.20. And I also just finished, it's been playing in the background while I was reading. The House Across the Lake. It was so good. Um, I love Riley Saker books. I typically don't like uh, jumping timelines like going back and forth, but I like how he does it and superb. Chef's Kiss. Good morning! I haven't vlogged anything, but we went into town and went and got donuts from Carter's. Hey! We went here like growing up. I promise they look a lot more inviting on camera. This is why we went into town. We needed a speaker, and my parents took our speaker from here to take this with them. So we just got this one. I think it was like 15 bucks, but it's really pretty. And then I fell victim because they had the Otwalla's knockoffs, and I've been wanting an Otwalla, and this one is cheaper than an Otwalla, so cute. 
As you can see, it is much lighter. We just swim in the water for probably about like, I don't know, like maybe like 30 minutes. But I just came in, changed my pop site really quick. And also, um, this gets the salmon retrieval obsessed. So yummy. Hi girlies, I'm just snacking. I can't believe it's already, what is it like? 6.30? Yeah. Just snacking on some watermelon. I just got off the phone. I was on the phone with my friend for a while. Shout out. Jay Weavy 41 He said I'd never give him a shout out. So here's your shout out. Mmm. So good. I was going to cook hamburgers. Cook hamburgers. But it's giving mystery meat. So... I have one hot dog, or I have two hot dogs left, so I'm going to have the hot dogs. And then, well, that's basically it. It was literally such a perfect 4th of July. I think I might go home to Tifton tomorrow, so I'm going to hang out with my cousins tomorrow night. Have another little spin the night. Um, But, yeah, it's been such a pretty day. Everyone's beat bopping, having the time of their life on 4th of July. Very lively. So, you guys, did I show you? I got a Walmart version of the Otwalla. I don't know if that's how you say it. And look. First of all, the colors. Slaying. Oops. It's literally just like it. And it's dishwasher safe. That's why I really never have bit the bullet on the Otwalla. I like almost did a couple weeks ago. Thank goodness I waited. $17. I'll try to link it down below. Like, I don't know if I can find the link. It's just like the best day ever. Okay, I'm gonna go now.